What's going on YouTube? Eric Bauer. Back again. You already knew that. Because you're watching it. Uh, it's been a while, some time, since my last update. At least a month and a half, if not longer. Um, I just haven't had any real motivation or inspiration to do any fucking YouTube during that time. Um, I've got a few other things going on on the side uh, that are keeping me preoccupied um, in a good way. Um, so I just haven't really uh, been thinking about uh, the YouTube that much. It's been on the back burner, so to speak. Um, so what I've got for you today, it's, it's a basically a fucking pickups video, um, which I don't usually do, uh, but I think the circumstances behind this particular one kind of mandated that I do a fucking video. Um, this week, it's Saturday today, uh, so um, it's last Wednesday, um, my wife and I actually went out and met up with uh, Ground Zero Salem, Pat. Uh, for uh, some brunch and then uh, I kind of showed them around a couple of my local uh, record shops uh, two of my favorites uh, you know there's more than that of course but um, time did not allow for uh, seeing more than the two that we stopped at um, you know next time uh, I met up with them the following day as well in the evening uh, we hit up one of the shops that's kind of up near where I live outside of Seattle um, and yeah, it was a good time. Um, fucking had a great time playing uh, tour guide for the record stores. Spent some money, got some stuff to show. So the first shop we went to actually, um, one of my favorites, Daybreak Records in uh, the Fremont area of Seattle, Washington. Um, you go there a lot, man. Spent a lot of money uh, over there. Uh, kind of toned it down, I guess, a little bit this, this visit. Um, it hadn't been too long since the last time I was in there, but uh, I did pick up a few things. Let's take a look. First thing I snagged. Hunted Down 7 inch. Life's Womb. Great artwork on that. Let's take it out of the sleeve. Never heard of this band before uh, picking this up. Honestly, I bought it strictly off of uh, Pat's recommendation. Said he thought it might be up my alley. So I snagged it. Very basic black vinyl, generic red label. Nothing special there. Did come with a uh, fold out lyric sheet. Um, like I said, I knew nothing about this band, uh, picking up this 7-inch, uh, 45. Uh, looked like hardcore, uh, which is basically what you get here. Um, it's freaking blown out, hardcore, mixed with some D-beat. Um, kind of reminds me of, uh, Declaration of Genocide to a certain degree. Uh, highly distorted, super savage. Hardcore, good shit. Did not waste my money on that purchase. That was actually the only seven inch I picked up from every day. I did, however, find a cassette. I forget where I put all this shit. That's upside down. Brutality of War by Disgust. Saw this. Had to snag it, complete the Disgust collection. Got three full lengths. Um, this is the first. Um, if you're not familiar with Disgust, Dean Jones from ex uh, <laughs> Extreme Noise Terror. <laughs> wow. Brain farting all over the place, man. Hilarious picture, I think. Look at that, look at that hair. Joel Grind. Template for Joel Grind right there. And if you're not familiar, like I said, with Disgust, it's members of uh, Extreme Noise Terror, Napalm Death, as well as other projects, Benediction, playing um, fucking rock punk, man, DB. Um, this is some of the best DB you will hear 
next to their follow-up to this album. Um, it's right up there with Discard from Sweden and uh, Disaster from the UK. Uh, phenomenal, phenomenal stuff. Um, it's definitely raw, it's definitely DB, uh, but it's also got uh, hints of like uh, fear of God or a sore throat in there at times. Um, it's fucking awesome. Check it out. And then, for the full lengths, well, I say full lengths kind of subjectively. Just got a couple LPs from Daybreak. St. Vitus, Thirsty and Miserable EP. This is the original SST version. No insert. Nice custom labels though. Didn't realize I was rocking the St. Vitus shirt today as well. Just noticed that. Go me. Coordinating and shit. Um, if you're not familiar with St. Vitus, uh, you probably ought to be. Um, you know, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't listen to a ton of Doom. Um, and half the time, I don't even know if I would consider St. Vitus Doom. To be totally honest, um, I mean it is. Fucking, I don't. Know, I love that band. But it's hysterical. There they are. Thirsty. There they are. Miserable. Um, it's like Black Sabbath meets Black Flag basically the two biggest influences on the band at the time. I want to say this EP was the first appearance of Wino on vocals from The Obsessed. Um, another fucking doom band that I dig a lot. Um, before that it was Scott Riegers. Uh, he later came back um, a couple years down the line. Um, but this fucking record is great. Love it. Um, super fuzzy, warm, analog sounding, um, doomy punk rock. It's like I said, if Black Sabbath collided in a car accident, Black Flag, I don't know if I just said Black Flag twice, Black Flag, Black Sabbath. I'm all over the place here, guys. You have to give me a while. I am out of practice. Anyway, that's that. Next up. And the last thing that I picked up from Daybreak. Rune Magic. In Venom. Double LP on Parasitic Records. This is a repress. If you're not familiar with Rune Magic, they are a Swedish Death Doom band. Basic labels. I'm not going to get out both LPs because it's literally the same, except for the uh, album sides. Um, this stuff is just fucking brutal. So slow, so down tuned, so heavy, so guttural. Um, it's great. Rune Magic has a daunting amount of releases under their name. Um, this album, I want to say, dropped in about 2004, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this is a repress. I want to say it came out in 2006 on Parasitic. Um, great stuff. Really slow. Some about this season uh, makes me bust out all the fucking doom shit. I listen to a lot of Reverend Bazaar. A lot of My Dying Bride. That fits in right there with early My Dying Bride. Um, it's great stuff. Swedish, if I didn't say already. Awesome awesome shit. The second store uh, we went to uh, is a place called Singles Going Steady in Seattle. One of the longest standing uh, indie brick and mortar shops in uh, Seattle as far as record stores go. Um, been there since the 90s uh, when I started going back in high school. Um, and uh, makes me ha happy to say Every time I go in there, it's like a throwback visit to when I was in high school. Um, the store is basically laid out exactly the same. Uh, the uh, sectioning is, is basically exactly the same as it's always been. Uh, ownership is still the same. It's an awesome, awesome spot. Um, 
It's really a, a great example of how to set up an indie shop and have it thrive, um, especially in a niche realm. Um, see what's going steady specifically if the name didn't already give it away, being named after the Buzzcocks album, um, it's more or less all punk rock, um, with some metal, um, some garage type stuff, psych, uh, to a small degree, some, uh, goth, death rock, shit like that, but mostly it's punk, um, a lot of crust, uh, a lot of hardcore, a lot of oi, um, and great used sections, uh, as well for the punk and for the metal. Uh, to be honest. Um, I kind of toned it down a little bit there, um, but uh, actually first thing, thumbing through the uh, use section, I uh, came across something I've been looking for um, kind of passively uh, for a little while now. It's Scorched Earth Policy, Tactics of the Lie. This is on uh, fucking Mind Control Records, and if you're not familiar with Scorched Earth Policy, this is a one-off project by uh, producer Jack Control uh, of World Burns to Death fame. Um, kind of in the same wheelhouse as World Burns to Death. Uh, but it's not melodic at all. Um, so any of that dark melody that you're used to with World Burns to Death is gone on this release. Um, it's basically fucking just feral scandy punk played with kind of like a black metal aesthetic almost. Um, really, really great. Uh, just fucking ferocious. Everything about this is just lo-fi, crusty, full of vitriol. This album rules. Um, it's right along with like Keg Charge. Uh, if you're familiar with Keg Charge, it's another World Burns to Death uh, side project, um, which I highly recommend checking out. Uh, great shit. Um, but you know, if you have an aversion to like fucking anarcho punk, it's probably not up your bag. Great shit though. Happy to have this. Um, it wasn't expensive and it's on Discogs for fucking cheap. So um, check it out. Scorched Earth Policy Tactics of the Lie. The next bunch, uh, just some seven inches that I grabbed. Um, so let's take a look at those. Maybe. First thing, got this out of the use section Axiom Mutante. From Germany, this is their first EP. This album just fucking slays. If you're not familiar with Axiom Mutante, they are a anarcho crust grind band. Just savage, brutal, to the point, no fucks given grind madness. Very of the time, um, so you'll hear a lot of like from enslavement to obliteration um, references, a lot of ass suck references in here, terrorizer uh, at times. Great, great shit. Took their name after a really fucking great movie, um, which I highly recommend seeing if you haven't. Um, I, you know, I don't really have much else to say about this record. Uh, it's been a while since I've spun anything by Action with Mutante. Um, and I haven't heard this EP <laughs> probably like 15 years, 20 years. Awesome, awesome stuff. Again, pretty easy to find uh, on Discogs if you're looking. You might even find Dead Stock from uh, various hardcore punk crust distros. Um, the next thing I got is a repress full of help. This is uh, Amber Moat in the Black Vault. Um, this was repressed by Closed Casket. Really nice treatment of this album um, by Closed Casket. 
Uh, came with a few nice little additives. Download card. Pause your shit. You can get a free EP. Um, really love the gold on black and white there. Lyrics. That was upside down. Apologize for that. Barely legible. Uh, on a very nice gold wax. You know, Full of Hell is one of those bands. What to say about them? Fucking one of those groups where the hype, and there's a lot of hype behind Full of Hell right now, is honestly well deserved. Um, this EP is no exception. Uh, super, super just. I don't know, it's, it almost defies genre classification. And I love it when a record can do that, um, or a band can do that. Um, Full of Hell have been managing to do that since the early days. Um, you know, it's grind, it's hardcore, it's sludge, um, it's black metal uh, at times. Um, it's a lot of everything, and uh, it rules. Um, you know, and it never actually sounds derivative, which uh, I really appreciate about these guys, given how fucking young they are. Um, awesome stuff. Uh, I think this came out this year, this repress. Um, it's not a new release. I think it originally came out in 2015 or something like that. Nonetheless, great shit. The last thing I got, the new Condition EP on Iron Lung. Had to snag this. Um, I actually really like that they just placed the hype sticker on there. It's clear. Looks really cool with the sleeve inside. You know, and it's kind of the little details like that that I get stoked about, as stupid as that might sound. Uh, another treat for you. Download code. Get yourself some free fucking condition. Um, I've talked about condition before on here. So, you know, I don't have much new to add. Um, Raw Punk from the U.S. I'm going to say the L.A. area, Southern Cali, um, just fucking, it's kind of like, I would almost compare them to like, uh, Chromosome, or, uh, fucking Piss Christ, is that right, Piss, Piss something, another Australian fucking raw punk band, um, Nomad, Inferno, uh, fucking Kriegs Hog. This shit rules. Subjugated Fate. Uh, actually, you won't find this in Discogs yet. Um, it was originally pressed on tape earlier this year. I think by Iron Lung as well. And then they just uh, recently dropped this guy. Um, like a few months back, I think. Uh, came with a nice little insert with the deets. And a very nice yellow love that fucking stamped label blank on the B side just rules man um, I think they have called it quits although I could be wrong I hope I'm wrong because every release by these guys granted it's only got the one full length under their belts three EPs counting this one um, and I think a live uh, recording um, everything fucking smokes uh, and again like I said this is no exception um, Pat as well nabbed some fucking great shit um, I know he's working on his own video uh, at this point so hopefully that'll be up not long after mine um, that's all I've got to show for you today um, like I said just a little collection update um, but it was cool hanging out with Pat me and his wife and his son um, had a good time and uh, yeah thanks for watching thanks for subscribing for those of you that have uh, fucking hung with me uh, I've lost a lot of subs actually probably due to my inactivity um, you know there might be other reasons involved in there as far as why some of my subs might be dropping but it doesn't really bother me too much like I said I've got some other shit going on on the side uh, and I may make mention of that uh, in a future update. Uh, at this point, though, still kind of works in progress. Um, 
I got some other ideas for uh, some videos. I'd like to shoot another one uh, later on in uh, the week, next week, I think, uh, if all goes well and I can keep my motivation for this YouTube thing up. That said, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Keep it real. Peace out, YouTube.